So here today with uh, Dr. Sue Chan Carasoni, and she received her PhD from McMaster in 2006. And we're here to talk a bit about her PhD research. Um, Sue, you, you did your research on cluster randomized trials in a nursing home study. Um, could you give us some background context of that? Sure, so the randomized part means that some of the participants were randomized to receive an intervention. And the cluster part means that it was the nursing homes that were randomized to either continuing as usual or to receive this intervention. So instead of it being the actual residents that were randomized to receive the intervention, it was the whole entire home that was gonna be receiving the intervention. So we had 22 nursing homes in the kind of greater Hamilton area, right. um, and half of them were randomized to receive the intervention, and half of them kind of continued as usual, and we collected data from them. Okay, and so there's those that, that didn't and did receive the intervention. What was that intervention? So the intervention was uh, what's called a, a clinical pathway. So basically it's a, a set protocol that uh, the staff were required to follow should a resident developed something that they suspected was pneumonia. So it involved identifying the symptoms um, and then the process that they would go through to diagnose and then to treat, and at what point in time they should transfer them to hospital. So the idea being that this would help them in the decision-making process and hopefully avoid um, unnecessary transfers to hospital. Okay, so what you're leading to there, the unnecessary transfer, is what we would call in this course the outcome variable. So how did you quantify the, the success from your study? So obviously in healthcare, a big factor is cost and hospital bed days are expensive. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we obviously want this to be the best thing for the health of the residents. So we looked at their health outcomes, including death, and then the number of days that our residents in these nursing homes had spent in hospital during the time of the study, okay. and then also the number of transfers. So the total number of days, and then also the number of times someone went. So someone might go and stay for 10 days, right. which would count as 10 days and one admission, or there might be 10 people who go for one day, which would be 10 admissions. So it sounds like a fairly complex uh, study. What was the duration of this work and the cost involved? Um, a study like this is very expensive. Uh, it would take years to set up, and we collected data for four years to get the required number right. of, of people to, to, see, to really know and understand the impact of, of using this process. Okay, so a really large uh, cohort of, of people involved with this to make these sound statistical conclusions. That's right, That's yeah, right. there is about 700 residents, I would say, wow. who, who, who had developed during this time pneumonia, or what was suspected to be pneumonia. Right. Now, ideally we would like the cost of this to be justifiable in some way. What's the um, long-term use of the study? Has it been implemented to your knowledge, or what, what was the final result ongoing from this work? So as part of the study, we went back and we talked to the administrators in the nursing homes and asked what their experience was, whether they were interested in continuing to use it. And all of the homes said that it was very positive, that they would continue using it in their own environment. Um, the paper was published in JAMA and has had received a lot of citations and okay. so hopefully people are using it and implementing it um, but we also presented to the Ministry of Health and have gone out into other nursing homes and in conferences to kind of promote um, the pathway and, and uh, understanding also the pieces that were made this successful so right. even if it isn't implemented exactly as it was studied um, here that the ideas could be implemented. Great. Now, that, I mean, that also touches on one of the other important aspects of understanding the results from the experiment. It's one thing to do all the work and get your final outcome variable measured, but really having a deep understanding of the reasons for why it was successful or not successful um, is, is a really critical part of, ex of experimentation. Can you talk a bit about the qualitative side that you did in your work to really come to that understanding? Sure, so there was a lot of quantitative data being collected throughout this time. And then at the end, we also did qualitative interviews. So with the nursing home residents, their family members, the nurses on the floor, 
um, the directors of nursing and the medical directors. And we asked them about their, their comfort and preferences around being transferred to hospital okay. um, and also how the pathway went. So um, what, what actually made it work? Did they think it worked? Did they like using it? Uh, and that was really critical for us to understand um, what it was about it. So that is necessary for us to try and replicate it. Right. If we on our own just thought that we could give someone this pathway and it would be successful, um, but now we understand that maybe that's not the case and what pieces need to be in place to to in, increase the chance of success. Nice. So I, I guess stepping back from all of this, I start to appreciate how easy it is to do engineering experiments <laughs> because <laughs> we right. can just go ahead and do them. But when the moment we've got people involved, um, there's all sorts of complexities. Like not every patient in your cohort is identical, right? So we've got all these disturbances and 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 variations in our system, and mm -hmm. then the whole ethical aspect of dealing with people. And in my opinion, any research should have the component of the, the quantitative piece, the numbers, but also the qualitative, so that you can understand that, so that you can understand what's causing the results. And also, it gives you the stories to, to, to sell your intervention. Right. It, it really brings meaning to the importance of what you're doing and the importance of your outcomes beyond the numbers of saving thousand dollars per nursing home resident. Right. Now to, to end off maybe uh, talk a bit about the current work that you're doing. Uh, the hospital that I'm working at right now only has 13 inpatient beds so the numbers are very small so a lot and also very complex so the importance of the qualitative research um, is even more in that context that we we need to really be able to understand the stories and get ideas of, of what interventions would work and then it's a smaller scale trial of the intervention um, probably not going to be published in in JAMA because you don't have the, the statistical um, basis for supporting your evidence right great thanks very much no problem